This is what I want to know because I've been saying it forever. I know you and Adesanya are buddies, right? And I'm not asking you to look past the fight, but I'm asking him a little bit. I'm not, I don't mean you to, for you to lose focus, but you're so dominant in terms of the results so far at welterweight. When I think about what would really capture the public's imagination, I think if Fabib ever came out of retirement, there's one, like the two unbeatable wrestling guys who can now strike, or if you moved up, because you'd be giving up some size, and fought your buddy Adesanya. Can you comment on either of those matchups? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I tell you what I think would really get the people going and what would make more sense is, when have you ever seen the two pound-for-pound pound fighters in the world in their respective sports, both in their respective prime, go at it? Name a time. Who are you talking about now? Who is the pound-for-pound pound best boxer in the world right now? Uh, I mean, Canelo, are you talking about? That's the money fight, too. I, I, it's not about money. It's about... You want to box Canelo. It's about... What gets me out of bed? What gets me scared? You want to box to get Canelo? Get in that gym, Max. You're gonna box you Canelo, me. yo. I mean, I know for the money. I want you that want to challenge, box Canelo. I want the what challenge. What about Adesanya? I need you to comment on Adesanya before we get Adesanya, out of here. Adesanya, Adesanya is my guy. That's something that me and him have to discuss. There's a difference between fighting and competing. If me and him decide we want to compete and the UFC is throwing $100 million at us, <laughs> then we'll make it happen. Kamaro Usman, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen him fight this Saturday, don't miss it. It's the best pound-for-pound -pound mixed martial artist in the world.